What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to script police lighting in Roblox Studio. So, I have done a lot of these videos in the past and I have still gotten DMs of people saying they still don't get how to do it. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you in depth and very slowly how to script police lighting in Roblox Studio. So, First thing you're going to want to need is you're going to need a car, which I'm going to be using this 2016 Ford Taurus, and you're going to need some light bars. Now, you technically don't need all this, but I have this because this is my police car studio where I make all my cars. So that's that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and be grabbing a light bar is the first thing you want to do. You can pick any light bar. I'm going to grab... I'm gonna grab this one. So we grab this one and we bring it over to our car over here. And then we flip it around. And then you go into your car here. And you're gonna wanna go into your car and you're gonna go to your body. You're gonna hit plus. You're gonna do model. Once you have that model, you're gonna rename it a light bar. Just like that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your light bar. You're going to put it on the car. Make it line up how you have it. And you're going to put it right on that door line, because that's how our police interceptors are. Let's put it right line with the door line. It's not big enough. Like, mine isn't. Scale it up some. Make sure it looks good, which mine does. Make sure it's lined up. Which mine needs to be fixed a bit. Just like that. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab this and you're gonna drag it all the way up until you find that car, until you find your car that you just made that light bar in. So you're gonna drop it in there, just like so. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here into your light bar and you're gonna hit that plus sign again. You're gonna hit part, and insert a part. You're going to grab your part, just like so. You're going you're gonna to scale it to fit in your light bar, just like so. Scale it. Scale it. Boom. And then scale it again. Yeah, just like so. Now you're going to make that neon. Neon. You're going to change it to terracotta. Now you're going to control D to duplicate it and do it, bring it over to the next one. And as you can see, there are six things. So you're going to duplicate it again and then bring it over to the next one. Now, this is where it's going to change up. You're going to control D it still, bring it over to the next one, but you're going to change it. And instead of picking the color, you're going to click on it. And you're going to do 80, 104, 190. That's just going to give you a better color of blue. And the same thing as before, duplicate it, and duplicate it, like so. So that gives you something looking like that. Now what you're going to do, you're going to hold shift and do that. You're going to hold, you're going to grab this first part, hold shift, and grab the last part. It's going to select all of them, you're going to click anchor. Now what you're going to do, you're going to name all your parts. So we'll do W1. W2, W3, W4, W5, and W6, just like so. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna come in here to light bar and you're gonna add a script. You're gonna delete the hello world and you're gonna do main the equals script dot parent while true do wait parentheses you can hit enter and you're gonna do if main vet dot stage dot value equal equal one then hit enter now you're gonna hit enter so like main vet dot w1 dot transparency equals one and you're gonna do the same thing main vet dot w2 dot transparency 
equal two. I mean equal one. Name that dot w three dot transparency equal one. So you pretty much what you're gonna do, you're gonna do this all the way until you get to your w six. Same thing. So now you're gonna do weight parentheses zero point two inside of this parentheses. Now what I would do is I'm gonna do this and you're gonna go down and you're gonna do W three zero and then you're gonna do W four zero. It's pretty much what it's doing, it's just doing a pattern. So you're gonna copy this, just like so, down here, paste it. So now you're gonna do the opposite. So the W five and W six are gonna be zero. W four and W three are gonna be one and W two and W one are gonna be zero. Now now you're going to enter, you're going to hit backspace to get rid of that space, you're going to do else if mainvet.stage.value equal equal to then same thing, mainvet.script.mainvet.w1.transparency equals 1 mainvet.w2.transparency equals 1 mainvet equals one main v dot w four dot transparency equals one main v dot w five dot transparency equals one main v dot w six dot transparency equals one. So now you're gonna do the same exact thing but instead of the wait time being zero point two you're gonna do zero point one. And we're gonna kinda mix up the pattern here. So instead of it doing instead of it going W one and W two flashing and then W, it's pretty much what they're gonna do is they're just gonna go in a different pattern. So you're gonna make W1 1, W2 0, W3 1, W4 0, W5 1, and W6 0. So it'll look something like this. So now you're gonna copy, hit enter, and paste. Now you're gonna do the complete opposite. So W6 is gonna be 1, W5 is gonna be 0, W4 is gonna be 1. W3 is going to be 0, W2 is going to be 1, and W1 will be 0. So, just like so. Now, hit enter, and you're going to do else if main vet dot else if main vet dot stage dot value equal equal 3, then the same exact thing. I'm just going to copy and paste it down there so I don't have to do it again. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. If you want to do a certain pattern, that's up to you. So, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these strobe. You don't have to make it strobe, but you can if you want. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to make do your pattern. Which I'm going to keep it as this. I'm going to make it that pattern. And it's gonna be a little faster. So we seven. And you're gonna copy this and paste it. And you're gonna paste it down there. And you're just gonna make these all one. Same thing. Copy it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing this wrong. Never mind. Make those all one. And do your pattern down here. So I'm just gonna do my pattern. Just like so. And you're gonna take this. Take this, paste it down here, and take this, and paste it down here. Take this, and paste it down here. Now, what it's doing here is now you're going to go on to your second, your second part. So you're going to copy this, put it down, same thing make that change the pattern around just change the pattern around take these same thing paste and do your pattern again same thing paste just like so now you've scripted your light bar now the car's not going to do anything like you can see we can run it here 
and it's not going to do anything. So, what you have to do is I will leave a link in the description to this car. What you're going to do, you're going to go into the car, you're going to go into the body, you're going to go into the light bar, and you're going to grab the strobes, the stage, and the remote event in the middle. Make sure you don't have the car selected. So all you want to select it is the strobes, the stage, the remote event in the middle. Copy it, come into your car, and you're going to paste it into your light bar. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to rotate that, and you're going to move it into the grill of your car. It's like so. And then once you're done with that, your car is done. So your car has sirens and it will work perfectly. Hello, sirens not working. So that's your stage one. Here's your stage two. And your stage three is working. And that's your stage three. Now, so my thing here was like making it quite slow, but say you want to go in here and you want to change your thing up here. So make this zero seven. Make all these zero seven. And it'll be a lot faster. But what I was going for is was making it quite slow. But I know some of you guys will want it to be quite fast. So now, once we make sure it works, you're gonna do, you're gonna do this. You're gonna hit enter. You're gonna hit else, and go ahead and paste this. Apply your edits. Boom. Go into game again. And here's your stage one. Here's your stage two. And here's your stage three in fast mode. Just like so. And it looks good and everything is looking good so that is how you script police lighting in Roblox studio I truly do hope this helps if you have any issues please feel free to DM me on discord I will leave my discord in the description I'm always there to help and if you need anything feel free to DM me um, if you did like this video make sure you like subscribe it would really help out um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.